Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Life Is Me. I have an unboxing for a little watercolor set that I purchased from Etsy. And let me open it real quick. I, it says Zachary Jackson is the person that sent it. Okay, here's, it says Happy Mail. Yes, it is Happy Mail. I can't tell what it says, probably because I should be wearing some glasses. Let me open this. I know I'm not supposed to open towards me, but sorry, I'll just move it away. There we go. Oh, look at how cute this looks. <laughs> so cute. And this is just, it's a cute box. It's a big box for what I got, right? All right, let's see what this is. They sent me a little envelope. Looks like it has stuff in it. Let me see what it says. What does it say? Oh, look at this card. That's cool. I wonder if I can cut watercolor this card. What does it say? Thank you so much for investing in our July color set. It really means the world to my family and to I. Without you, there would be no us. Thank you. Empowering Creations. Zach. That's cool. What's it say? Every journey has a story. Mine is that I started this business because I wanted to become a character design artist. However, as a stay-at-home dad, I couldn't just drop everything and pursue my dream. So I look for creative ways to make this dream a reality. And thus, Arts to Embers was born. Okay, that's the name of the business, Arts to Ember, their Etsy shop. But with each new product creation and each new illustration, I'm getting one step closer. Thank you for being a part of this journey. That's neat. So he probably drew this. That's awesome. That's so cute. So I guess there's a monthly. He comes out with new watercolors monthly. I didn't even look. I just saw this little three color palette and I had to have it happens when I go oh look so I can swatch it I think I'll do that right now arts to embers three pound palette July 2022 color set so I think he comes up with new watercolors every month and what is this these are little color dots is that a color dot for this or how do I open this are these them I don't know. I don't know how this works. I should probably read the description, right? So now I'm... Are these the same thing? I don't think they are. Look. Right? Don't they look different? A lot different. Unless it's just because there's more. No, because that looks green. Those are different colors. But it doesn't say what colors they are. Cards to embers. Does it say here? No, it's just the July color set. I don't think it says anything on here either. Nope. It's really nice handwriting. I mean, compared to mine. No, well, there's nothing else in the envelope. Let me look on Etsy. Okay, what does it say? Item details. Every month we send out a three color sample dot card with every order until supplies run out of our handmade paints in half dot cards. With each comes a new three color sample set. I designed with dot card sample set as a way to introduce upcoming colors to our line of handmade watercolor. But due to time constraints, we have a very small selection of available color for sale in our thin pans. This is a way to solve that issue slowly. This listing is for our July 2022 sample dot card set in our new thin pans. It comes with the colors from the dot card and a custom made mini case that doubles as a palette. You can only get this case with the purchase of this kit. They are not available individually. Okay, so the specs. Set of three handmade watercolors, blue storm, gray green, and crimson. So it must be blue storm, gray green, and crimson and mini palette eco-friendly paste and swatch card. Okay, so I don't know. 
So this is what I ordered, and these are the the free dot card samples. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what colors these are though. What if I have, want more of these? Maybe I can send them an email and say, oh, I wonder if this is like every month, like these are the colors for next month or something. I don't know, but if I think this is so cute. Anyway, all right, let me swatch these real quick. I love many things. So, let's see. I'm going to swatch them here first. All right, let's do it. Let's swatch this guy here. This is so exciting for me. Let's see if I can stay within the lines a little. Get some more on here. I love love watercolor should I just leave that for now let it dry and then go in for a second coat all right let's do that and do the green I know some people like do a little spritz those are probably the more professional people this looks very light very pretty. I really like grays. Alright, I'll let that dry. And then go in with the blue. Story of my life, it got loud at my house again. So where was I? I think I was cleaning my brush for this one because I went and did other stuff while I was waiting. <gasps> Ooh, this is pretty. This is pretty. You know what? I didn't check. I didn't tell you how much this was, did I? I don't think it was very much. I think at most it was $20. I'll put it, I'll put it in the video. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put another layer of this red on here. I love, have I told you guys how much I love watercolors? I think they're so, like they give such a beautiful look. I went somewhere, it was a traveler's center with my kids. My husband was working so he didn't go with us, which means we got to do more shopping. But anyway, we went somewhere and at the travel center they had I'm sorry, not the travel center, their visitor center. They had a watercolor painting and my daughter asked if I could draw or watercolor a painting like that for her. And the answer was like, okay, because I'm not the greatest artist at all. She's, okay, my, my stuff looks elementary, but I have fun with it. This painting this watercolor painting was so, oh, it's got a little hair, it was so intricate, it was so, such a, it's, it was a, it was a ship, Ooh, it was a painting of a ship, and it was just beautiful, so many, oh, I put that in my clean water, oh no, oh well. But it was so detailed. <laughs> she knew I couldn't do that. She's just being sarcastic, I'm sure. But there's no way. But I still love it. I still enjoy doing it, even though I'm not the greatest. So are you seeing this close enough? Look at this. Here's a swatch of these three colors. I think they're pretty. Please don't look at my nails. Ignore the nails. Aren't these pretty? And I love this little sample. Ooh, will that stay in there? I can probably glue dot that, that in there, right? Oh, I wonder if I can... Okay, I'm going to let that dry before I try to take it out, I think. 
or am I? Maybe I can use my scissors to pry it out a little bit. I don't want to smear the water. There it goes. I can probably just use that as a palette, right? Oh, this is cute. I love it. I love it. I could put a little sticker right there or I could put this up here and just tape it on. Like put a tape over it so it doesn't get damaged. I think that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, I want to swatch those other three colors too. The dots. The sample dots. I have this little A6 in my my sojourners it's got it's got it has Stradmore mixed media paper it's from documented journey Stradmore mixed media no is it I think it might be I think it might be from documented journey it might not be I think it is But it has mixed media, Stradmore mixed media, and then Tomoy River paper. Anyway, let me swatch these other ones. And I don't know what these are called, but I probably should have drawn some little boxes, right? Oh, that's the Tomoy River paper. It's like a little color. Can you guys see? Should I be closer? Let me get closer. All right. So that's that color. color is this? Is this like a... I don't know what you would call that color. Is it like a yellow? Like an okra type color? Ochre? Not okra. <laughs> I don't know what color this is, but it's pretty. They're not super dark. More muted colors. All right, I'll wait till those dry a little bit. Look at this. Isn't this the cutest? I don't know if you guys are into watercolor, but look at this. The little shell comes off and it comes a little cup. There's the palette and then the little brush holder. This is gonna be mine eventually. So cute, and it's only okay. So for the whole set, it's eighty nine dollars. I think it's kind of worth it, right? It's so cute, and it'll bring me so much joy. Anyway, they have different, different. Uh, they have different designs. All right, this is dry. Let me do another coat. I'll do another coat, only in the bottom. Oops. I forgot to do the other one. These are very light colors. Not super, super pigmented. I'm not sure the ones on the Tomoy River paper are dry yet. I'm going for it anyway. This is a pretty color. That's cute, I like it. These are the colors from the swatch dot card that they sent me. I like it. It's pretty. It's running because it's not dry yet. But And these are the ones I purchased. This is the July set. It's pretty. 
pretty too. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with those. And again, the shop is Arts to Embers. Arts to Embers. I wonder if I can just color this real quick using the watercolors that they sent me. What color do I want to use? She's going to have color sh hair should she have? I feel like her skin tone should be mm. should her skin tone be this color and then her hair um, I should give her gray hair I'm not sure what kind of colors I can mix with this I can probably do like a turn one of these into a brownish color right? I don't know all right, let's do this first. I'm going to do her skin tone in this color. Why are you And I'm not going to be super precise about this. Well, because that's just not me. Who has time to be super precise? I don't. Get some more of this color for her face. And just remember, I am not a watercolor artist. I'm just somebody that likes to play with watercolors. Okay, so her hair, what color should her pants be? Make her pants. Her pants are going to be dark blue. Well, did I go too dark? Okay, guys, remember, I already told you, don't forget, I'm only doing this for fun. This is cool. So an artist would probably figure out where there should be shadows and stuff. I'm just coloring in. The empty spots. I feel like, what makes gray? Oops, what makes black? I feel like I should have somewhere to mix. I didn't have a palette with me, so, oh, I guess I could use the backup mist. I'm not ready to do that yet. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue. We'll see what happens here. With a little bit of this, I don't know, should I put this color in there? What happens here? Did it get darker? Oh, it's a little bit different. I just wanted the belt to be a different color. And it is. Should the pouch be that same color? Maybe, because I got some of it on it. No. It's going to be... I don't know, what color should the coat be? Should it be a red coat? Or this, this green color? Hmm. You know what? I kind of like this red. It's not like a... Well, I don't know. Maybe if I mix a little bit of this red with a little, little bit of this copper one. This is not the best palette for me to be using, but it's what I'm using. I'm gonna mix some of this with the red and see what happens. Oh, I like it. 
think I got too much. These buttons should probably be a different color. I like that he sent me this little drawing that I get to color in. Makes me happy. What color am I gonna make her hair? I'm gonna make the lining the same color. I know it probably wouldn't be, but it's gonna be the same color. This is a cute drawing. Well, you're probably not watching, Zach. This is cool. I like how you send this card. Okay, I'm back. Got loud at my house again. So I should really have a proper palette, but I'm not. I'm making it work with these little baggies. What color do I do her hair? I think I want to use, what if I use this green? Oh, I can't even see it. Some of this green. I feel like I need more green. Green with some of that red. No, some of this. Sample color. Ooh, that doesn't seem like a good color. I need to add something else, but I'm not sure what. Maybe some blue? I don't know, guys. I think red would be too much red. Maybe if I add, maybe just a little bit of blue. Nope, that wasn't the right color to add. Oh, this brush is absorbing all the ink. Okay, what color should I add to that? Some of this, I'm gonna add some of this. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, probably not. But we're adding this. I feel like that did nothing. I'm going to add, what should I add? I feel like I do need to add some of this. I need to practice watercolor mixing. What did that do? Anything? Nope, I feel like it's doing nothing. I really thought I had to add that. All right, let's see. Hmm, I'm gonna add some of this red. Nope. It's not the color I'm going for either. I think I have enough blue in there. I don't know what's happening, guys, but I'm just going mix happy and add some of this teal. Whatever color this ends up is what we're going with. All right, I'm not sure. I'm going to take some of it off. Whatever it is, we're going for it. It kind of looks brown, doesn't it? A little bit. Whoa. It got on her face a little bit. Whoop, it got on her face. Let's pretend that's, what is it? Contour. That's a shadow on her face. Let's go with that. All right, I need a little bit of red for her lips. I feel like I've got this scraggly little brush I pulled too much. Let's 
see. Whoa, that's some deep red for her lips, right? That's too much. I should have just gotten some of what I had on this little baggie here. <laughs> All right, let's pull some of that off. Oh, she looks like she just had a really, okay, let's give her some rouge here. Does it look like she's wearing some rouge? Okay, so don't judge this guy's paint by my drawings here. I mean, by my watercoloring. <laughs> because it's not, that would not be fair. She looks like she just had her daughter paint lipstick all over her. Or she's got a bloody lip. Oh no. I'm making it worse, aren't I? Okay, she just got into a fight with, and she's got like a little bloody lip. But she's a good person. It was a it was a good person fight. I'm gonna paint her a little patch this color. Oh man, I ruined her with her mouth, didn't I? I don't know that I can take it off. Can I brush it off somehow? Clean it up a little bit? What if I just cover her whole face with that little pinkish? Does it clear it up a little bit? Oh yeah, a little bit. It doesn't look so bad. I'm saying it looks great, but it doesn't look as bad. I feel like I need to color in her little outfit here. And I feel like the color should be this, her little white shirt. But it kind of looks like the flesh, the color I used for the flesh. Her. I think I'm going to leave her like that. Maybe I'll just add a little bit more of this color to the hair. I like it. What do you guys think? Am I an artist? Please know that's a sarcastic question. I really enjoyed watercoloring this. This is nice artwork that Zach drew. It has a little, his little signature right there. I love it. I love these little water. I'm happy with my little purchase. But like I said, I'm always happy with my purchases, but that's because I'm, I already know what I'm getting, right? So, whoa. Oh no. I can clean it. Oh yeah, look at that. You can hardly tell that it was even there. I dropped my little, okay, I'm gonna make a mess here. So here's the little sample dots. And then my little watercolor palette that's so cute. And I can use this for a palette. Close this, it looks like these can come out too. These little sample, I mean these little what are those called? These little trays come out. These little pans, that's what they're called, right? Pans. Looks like this is 3D printed, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna glue this on top and put some tape over it probably, or maybe even some Mod Podge just to keep it there. But I wonder if Mod Podge would like make it smear and then cover it up. I'll probably just put tape over it, some clear tape, so I can know what's in there. And then if ever I need to switch it out, I can do that too. But I like it, isn't that cute? I'm happy. For $20, I get this little cute little palette, cute little sample dot card, and this pretty girl. 
It's pretty. Anyway, I'm happy with my purchase. Look at that. I love it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day. And I'll link that Etsy shop if anybody's interested in that. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.